Hey guys and welcome back to another Religion 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be going over how you can reduce the package game size for your game. So sometimes you might package the game and it might be quite big or it might be over a gigabyte. So if you're uploading to itch or Game Jolt, they tend to have a 1 gigabyte size limit. So you might want to just reduce it a little bit. So I'll be going over some top tips on how you can do that now. So some of these are my own ways, but a lot of them will be from the Unreal documentation on it. Because some of them I thought these are just ones which I knew. I couldn't remember where I got them from since I found out about them a while ago. But I think they're probably from the documentation since they're on there as well. So I'll just be running you through how to do them on there. So I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. But this will just be a visual representation of going through them. And using the first couple methods, one of my games which I made for a game jam, I reduced the file size by about 60 to 70%. I can't remember the exact value, but I know it was between 60 and 70% file size reduced. So let me get right into it and I'll show you how we're going to be doing this. So we're going to be doing this through the project settings. So I'm going to go to edit, project settings there. And you should see here we should have packaging so it's the very top under project we have packaging there this is where we're going to be changing all of our settings now i don't really have too much in this project at the moment it's just a test but obviously i don't need anything so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to be compressing the cooked content so obviously you're going to build and cook your game before you package it so we want to compress that so to do that that's very simple all we're going to do is we want to hit the show advanced here so under packaging i'm going to go down show advanced i'm going to scroll all the way down again until we find create compressed cooked packages here. We're going to tick that so it is true. While we're here, we want to also cook only maps. So we're going to tick that as well. That means it's going to cook the maps which we want, which again will help lower the package size, as obviously we don't want to cook everything. So then again, go down underneath this. You see here we have a list of maps to include in a packaged build. We're going to add the array elements to here. So I'm going to hit the plus array element there, open this, locate my third person BP, maps, and you see here, we have the third person example map, so I'm going to put that in. So you'd want to put in your actual map, your main menu, any other maps you have. Now this is good for A, reducing package size, and B, also to make sure that you do have those maps in the package build as well. So we're going to scroll all the way back up, and you should see that we have shared material, shader core, and shared material native libraries. Now these are already ticked for me, but they might not be ticked for you. You want to make sure that they are both ticked. So you might have it looking like this, and tick the top one, tick the bottom one. You will need to restart it, but you can restart it later once you finish these settings. But you will need to restart the engine. Now this does help with reducing the package size, but it does slightly increase the loading times, but it shouldn't be too much. And obviously you just weigh up whether you want bigger file sizes or slightly longer loading times. So, so just have a think about it. Do you want a slightly longer or bigger file size? And obviously it, I say slightly longer because it isn't that much. You probably won't notice. What we also want to do is we want to exclude editor content. So we want to only include the stuff which we've actually used in the game. And this just means it won't package anything that you don't actually use in your game. So if you have 50 tree assets, you only use 10 of them, the other 40 won't be included, which will obviously help a lot with reducing package size. So again, we're going to scroll down into these advanced settings here, which we've already opened. If you haven't, again, you just press this little arrow here for show advanced. And then you should see here we have exclude editor content when cooking. So we're just going to make sure that we tick that. And then you can also exclude the movies as well, but if you do that, you're going to want to then make sure you choose which movies to include. So you might have 10 movies, but only use one. So tick that, hit the plus array element there, specific movies to package, and you just insert and choose one which you have. Obviously, I don't have any here, so I can't do that, but that's what you do. So sorry, you actually just type it in there. You just type in the name of your movie there. And then just above this, you can see we have cook everything in the project content directory. What we're going to do is we're going to tick that, and this just allows us to specify which maps and content we want to actually package in the game. So we only want to include what we want. So sorry, we want to leave it unticked, not ticked, sorry. So we want to leave it unticked so it doesn't cook everything. So for you, it might be ticked by default. That's where I was getting that from. That's what I meant. So it might be ticked. You want to have it unticked. So we don't want to cook everything. And then obviously here, we can specify what we do want to include so what we do want to cook. So the specific movies which we set up the maps that we want to do, the directories to never cook, that's also a good one. So directories which you never want to cook, which again, cooking just increases the size file. And so again, I've shown you how to do this with the maps. You hit the plus array element there, hit the three dots, and then you just locate and open what you want to include. So I'm just gonna remove that one, delete that there. That's essentially the project settings done. So we can close that, that's all you need to do. Make sure to restart your engine once you finish that. So what we can do is we can remove plugins which we aren't using. So to do that, you can go to Edit, Plugins, and then you can see we have all of our plugins here. I don't have any, I only have one, but obviously you might have a lot more and you might not be using any of them. 
So all you want to do is just have it unticked if you're not using it. If you are using them, keep them enabled. But if you have them enabled but you aren't actually using it, just untick it because otherwise it's just taking up unnecessary space. And then we can also do the same but with actual content. So you can choose what to include in the package but there will still be a tiny bit of file space there. So instead what I'm going to do is I don't want to use any of these folders. I'm not using any of them in the game and I never will. So I'm never going to use them so I can just delete them. So just select all the ones you want right click and delete or hit the delete key and then they won't actually be included at all. So choosing which ones to exclude and which ones to include via the project settings is good if you think you might use these in the future. You just got them there, you might use them. But if you know you're really not going to use them, there's no point having them. So you can just get rid of them, you can just delete them. That way it again massively reduces file size. And so I think that'll be it. We've gone over the kind of the basics of reducing file size in your game. And also make sure that you actually zip up the folder of your package game at the end as well. So let me show you an example of that. So if I open up my folder, I'll just do some here for the game which I did package. So you can see here I have the long commute home packaged and it's got that icon there because it's zipped. And you can see here we have the unzipped. So all we want to do to zip it is we want to right click on it, send to compressed zipped folder. And what that's going to do is it will just again zip it, meaning it's going to be reducing the file size. So that way it can now be more lenient with uploading it to itch or whatever. And then when the user and the player downloads it, they can just unzip it and play their game. So normally when you download something, it might be like this. So you should be used to that. So let me know in the comments down below if you have any other tips, other suggestions on how other people can reduce the file size. Again, with a lot of these tips, I reduce mine from about 60 to 70%. So it might be different for each person, obviously, especially if you have more stuff. It might not be as big or if you have more stuff it might be bigger so let me know how well it works for you in the comments down below and again if you have any other tips for other people but this was just a kind of basic rundown of the documentation on reducing the package file size for your games so i hope you enjoyed and i hope you find it helpful and if you did make sure to like subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one